Hey everyone, it's your buddy Graphic back with another video, and today we're going to jump through every single spirit shrine and talk about how to utilize these spirit shrines in each and every single area. So to start off, we're going to kind of, like I said, list every single one and talk about each individual spot so talking with a cutlass keys here to start off we have one and two actual locations here for the spirit shrines the first one going to be located right on the northeast side of this rock you can actually zoom in and out on newworld-map.com yourself so you guys can take a look uh, and look at these spirit shrine locations yourself but we also have one down here in the bottom right which will definitely be very very helpful for the zones um, you know, when you have quests down in this bottom right zone, definitely pick these up, obviously, while doing certain things. Uh, you know, a lot of quests will bring you in these areas, so you'll just want to walk over and make sure to flag on them. So first light is going to be the next one we're going to take a look at. We have one here at the north side of this mountain, uh, mountainous area. You can actually take this path there, or you could take this path, swerving path all the way there. Uh, we also have first light's far right one. So we have two in first light, another great spirit shrine location. Um, right in kind of the middle of first light, kind of close to the four area, which is nice. And if we continue on, we actually have a couple more locations. We have Monarch's Bluffs with two more. So Monarch's Bluffs going to have one here, uh, kind of on the east side of Monarch's Bluffs. And then we have another one on the south side of Monarch's Bluffs. So if we continue on to the right side, we have Windsward having one at the quest location. This is going to be the one used probably the most. It's going to be right by that main quest. Windsward is going to be a common spirit shrine right here to utilize as we go up a little bit farther um i don't know if i missed this monarch's bluffs one over here but this is actually another one you are going to utilize quite a bit as well um you're going to be able to see that right by monarchs in actually monarchs so that actually makes three in monarchs bluffs which is kind of weird but it's you know somewhat attached to wind's word so it depends how you look at it but you're going to have this one available to you as well one thing to note as well is if you're looking at the location you should be able to see this exact shape on the map when you're going toward them so you can make sure it's what you're looking for as we continue on we have reek water reek water level 60 zone you probably won't be able to use utilize this one too early on but we have uh, on the west side of this rock in reek water and then we have on the east side of this rock over here in reek water like i said a level 60 zone probably won't be able to use Utilize that one too early into the gameplay but we have some great ones in everfall as well so on the east side we have a spirit shrine here and we have on the north side a spirit shrine which is a very nice location um, up here where you have some quests and you also have uh, you know some caves where you can get that salt peter that is very very uh, you know really well used i guess you know utilized quite a bit for making bullets and uh, ammunition in new world we have evan scale reach a level 60 zone over here on the side we have one near the mountains i've used this one a couple times um, this one's very very good because it has a nice fast location um, fast travel location kind of near this dungeon so if you guys have never done this dungeon level 55 dungeon over here in the uh, islands over here and like i said it's a nice location for that reason we have another one up here in the top north side of evan scale reach and it's going to be a right above that mountaintop going to give you another fast travel location in Evans scale we have a couple in brightwood yet again three in brightwood we have one in the northwest we have one in the west and then we have one in the southeast so this one's going to be kind of on an island but a great location because we have no real way to get over there without that spirit shrine unless you want to walk obviously then we have weaver's fen with two more locations so here we have one on the southeast side of this little rocky mountaintop and then we have weaver's fen a very one uh you know located in the south side Weaver's spent a great spot to do some oil mining. And uh, you know what? Now we have a Restless Shore. So Restless Shore is actually one of those that only has one Spirit Shrine. The Spirit Shrine is going to be on the north side. A great place to actually go and continue your harvesting. You're going to find a lot of great mining to be done on these rocks. And uh, you're going to find a lot of iron up there. And you'll actually find a lot of fiber and hemp as well as, um, you know, some ore. Or not ore, but uh, you'll find, um, what am I thinking of here? Bison up here. So a lot of great hide to gather as well. Now we have Morningdale. So we have two spirit shrines in Morningdale, one in the northeast, and uh, that's going to be one of the most popular ones. Then we have one in the northwest, kind of close to um, an Eden Grove uh, dungeon over there. So this is going to be some great locations. We have now the white zones in the top that can never actually be influenced by a, uh, really a company can never influence them. Like I said, they have 
they're, they're white zones for a reason. But we have Eden Grove with three different Spirit Shrine locations, one in the north, we have one in the east, and then we have one in the south. So you are able to pause these videos, by the way. So make sure to pause them when you want to find the, or, you know, take a look a little bit farther into the landscape of the one you want. But Great Cleave is going to be the next one. Going to be very, very close to the actual, um, you know, Great Cleave settlement itself. But we're going to have that here right in between uh, right by the bridge, actually. It's going to be a great location there uh, to utilize as well. We have one more location. It's going to be right by the Shattered Mountain settlement. Um, it's going to be up here, and you're going to want to utilize this one definitely a quite a bit once you're getting level 60 and you want to farm way out here or do some questing. Um, obviously, like I said, a lot of corrupted portals as well as endgame content in the Shattered Mountain, and this Spirit Shrine is going to be the way to access it. So that's going to be all of these Spirit Shrines. I just wanted to kind of go over every single way to actually utilize these Spirit Shrines, giving you all of the locations. If you guys didn't know, there is, like I said, a great way to do so by going to newworld-map.com if you didn't want it in video format. I just want to get this out there so people know how to actually you know, find them, even if you know they do know that there's a website out there. Some people are still going to be on YouTube searching it, so I just wanted to help you guys out. Thanks again, guys, for tuning in. If you have not already, make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and turn notifications on. I'll see you guys all in the next one.